Hi everyone, it's Rainy from Oh So Simply and today I'm doing a video that was actually requested by um, one of my Pinterest followers named Emily. Um, so she wanted to know what my invoice process actually looks like in real life. So sorry Emily, ironically enough I am not, I don't have any actual invoices right now. <laughs> um, Sorry, you may hear my bunny in the background moving because his cage is right by me. Anyways, um, so because of COVID, I'm not actually currently working in any houses um, with families. I've been working virtually and I've been more of a resource for the moms that I used to work with as a nanny. Um, I've just been giving them boredom buster ideas and homeschooling ideas. Um, which in my last video, I talked all about homeschooling and using essential oils um, to help kids segment their days and make things a little more scheduled and structured for them. But anyways, so I've been doing stuff like that. But I figured you wanna know, so you must be still working, which is great um, with families. So yeah, I am going to have both screens today flipping back and forth between seeing my actual paper. So another thing is, is that I do have the nanny binder that I usually use when I'm working with multiple families. Um, recently I had only been working with one family and I am also an avid bullet journaler. So I had actually just been bullet journaling um, and putting my invoice pages directly into my bullet journal and then at the end of the week using that to do my online invoicing process which I'm going to show you guys today. Um, but we do have the invoice pages. Um, the nanny binder is up on Etsy and in Patreon. And we also, sorry, he is like, he was just sleeping a second ago and then I started this video and now he's like wanting to play. Anyways, um, so the pages are also in sections on Etsy, so you don't have to buy the entire nanny binder at one time, um, but you can just get the invoicing pages if you like the way that these ones look. Okay, let's start. So to fill out your invoice, I'm going to use this kind of brightly colored pen and also, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. This is also my first time using two cameras at the same time that I set up and I'm talking, like I'm doing this for the first time by myself. So just be easy on me. Okay, there are two ways to do invoicing. Um, you can have the paper invoice as a reference just for yourself, or you can give them this paper invoice and just take a picture with your phone as a reference for yourself. Whichever way they prefer is honestly the way I do it. Um, for the ease of me and the last family I worked with, um, I just used this as my own reference and then I would send them an invoice virtually. So I'll show you how I do that process, um, but if you just want to hand them this sheet of paper after taking a picture of it, um, because you do need at least a picture of it for your own records, if not a photocopy, if you want to just give this to them, then you can go ahead and stop the video after that point. But if you would like to virtually send it, um, I use a website called wave.com or wave invoicing and it is actually free and it's super easy to use. Um, but I still do actually write this at the end of every day just for my own reference so that I don't forget anything important. Okay. So to start, we write our name and you want to make sure that this is your legal name. Um, this needs to be the name that you use at your bank. Oops. So if, you, so if you use a nickname, like Rainy, um, then you need to put your legal name so that it is payable to that person. Um, and then the bill goes to the family's name. And this is gonna be the legal name of whoever is paying your um, invoices. So that's either the mom or the dad, whatever. Then the invoice number. So it's my first day or my first week working with this family. I do 001. It's something I picked up from my husband. I used to just do number one, but you know, I don't know where he got it from. But anyways, that's what we do. Um, but you can put whatever number you want there, really. It's just so that you can reference what is on this invoice later. Date of invoice is going to be the day that you give them the invoice. So it'll be the last day of the week uh, that you're working. So today is Friday. I'm actually filming this today that you guys will see it um, because I'm super procrastinating today or this whole week I was really procrastinating. But anyways, so today is the second, I think. Yeah, 
Just a second. And you can write that however you want. So then in here, you'll have the dates that you worked and you'll fill this out as you go. So every day after work, let's say I worked, okay, so let's say I worked the last four days, including today. So I'm gonna fill this out and then hand it to them at the end of my shift today. Um, so you fill this out as you go because at the end of every work day, it's super easy to fill this out. And then that way you don't forget if there's any expenses um, that you need to reference. So my service is childcare for all of these. And sometimes, um, the reason I have this here is because sometimes I also do organization work and I won't necessarily be doing that on a day that I would typically nanny. So for example, before I had a family that I did organizational work for and on one of her days off, I would come and I would reorganize. So we were doing the garage, which was a big project, but because I didn't want to be watching kids and doing it at the same time, um, and we had talked about a different rate for that and everything. So that's why these are different. So you could put kind of whatever you need to put here. And then assuming most of these will be childcare, you might not even feel obligated to fill this out. For the sake of ease, I'm going to use some rounded numbers. So let's say I do five hour days there and I did a two hour day of organizing. Um, let me make sure you guys can see this. I tried to pick a light-ish pin, but it's not actually as light as I thought it was but it's an oh so simply color. And then we'll do the rate. So once again, for ease, I'm going to say that we did $20 for that. And we did $30 for that. So then expenses. So maybe one of these days I took the kids out and we went to the zoo and it cost $35 to get in um, for all three of us. Sweet, okay. So then you do the amounts at the end. So it looks like I made a hundred bucks that day, made 60 bucks this day, made a hundred, but then I'm also getting back my 35 cause they're going to compensate for that. And so expenses that they're not comping for, you can put on here. Like for example, this day, maybe I brought over some craft supplies that I bought myself and I wasn't going to ask them to comp it because I want to reuse them later. Like maybe I bought some new markers or something. Um, so in here I would just put, um, like a little note for myself. So like me, I'm going to pay for that. And this is because I would only put this note in here, only put this note in here. If you're not giving them this paper, if you're giving them this paper, do not put anything else on here. They do not need to know any information like this, but if it's just for your reference, which this one is for me, um, then you put this information here because then later um, I can make sure to save that receipt and staple it to this invoice and boom, there you go. Like now I can count my business expenses at the end for my taxes. Um, but I also wanted to mention really quick that this is for people who are self-employed. So this is for self-employed nannies. If you are a W-2 nanny, if you're a household employee where the parent is taking taxes out for you, they are the ones that need to deal with invoicing. You don't, ha you don't have to care at all about your invoices because they will actually be just sending you money and you just make sure that it's the right amount, if that makes sense. So, I don't know what that was, but anyways. Um, so you don't actually have to worry about this if you are a W-2 nanny, just, So you don't actually have to worry about this. If you are a W-2 nanny, um, your nanny family should be giving you the money that they're going to give you and they'll take out your taxes and at the end of the year you just fill out, file your W-2. But if you are a self-employed nanny, um, which is possible, then this is what you would do. You need to keep track of all of your own business expenses. So moving on, we have down here the total amount due. So that's one, two, three hundred, thirty-five. Oops. That's 395. Yes, I usually do check this with a calculator and man, those numbers look really bad. Um, and then payment due by, this is important. Um, if you expect to get paid the same day, then cool, put that date in. But if you're gonna give them like a week to pay you, then you need to write that in. So let's give them a week to pay me. So they'll pay me next Friday, um, which, you know, whatever. You can put literally whatever you want. Sometimes I just put upon receipt. That's another thing I'll write in here. Um, because then like I would just scratch that out and they're like upon receipt. 
anyways, you also do want to use, I'm using this so that you guys can see this color, but you do actually want to use like professional, like black, and um, the Nanny Binder pages come in black and white, but they also do come in pink, which is fun color. Um, anyways, and then down here are notes, so anything like um, I would put the $35 is for the zoo admission. Or something like that, like just a little note. And um, if you're expecting them to comp you the $35 for your zoo admission, admission, then you do need to attach a receipt or be willing to send them a picture of the receipt. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then you would literally just hand this to them and move on with your life if that's what you want to do. If you want to do um, something a little different, then I will change this whole camera situation around and I will show you what that will look like. Okay, so new camera situation. Um, so I'm going to have a screen recording of me working on my tablet doing this um, with Wave Invoice, Wave Invoicing. Um, so yeah, let's start. Okay, so you're gonna go to your app store and in your app store, and you can also just look this up like on um, your computer, like a web browser, but you can go to your app store and get Wave Invoicing is what it's called. Go ahead and install that. And then we'll wait while it installs. Um, in the meanwhile, so I do send invoicing through Wave Invoicing and then I receive payment through Cash App. Cash App is free. It doesn't charge me anything um, extra, like any fees or anything like that. So if you want to so if you want to use Cash App as well, um, it direct deposits right into my bank account and I don't have to wait really long for it, um, then you can use the link down below, my Cash App link, and we will both, when you sign up, we'll both get, I think, $5. Um, so yeah, that would be cool to use that. But yeah, that's how I like to get paid. So we'll sign up. Okay, so we'll just sign up like that. Yeah, so use whatever email address that you use for work is my personal opinion because they will see what email address it comes from. Okay, so then you just have your invoices. You have unpaid, you have the draft, and you have all of your invoices all together. So we'll just create a new invoice right there. Invoice date, October 2nd. Um, as you can see up here, I did actually use this account um, it's my actual account, so this is the last baby that I had. Um, that was going to be invoice number 28, but um, you can change it to whatever you want. And so I do say, or I do suggest that you put like the kid's name in here, just so that when you're looking at your invoicing, you see who it's for. So it helps you organize your invoices a little bit better. We'll go to payment on receipt. We will add a customer, and so this is one of those things. Um, that you can, you'll add their parents' email address. So I'm just using my husband's as his temporary email address, but you'll use your their parents' email address here. Um, and you will add them there and you can import it from your contacts if you have that information. Okay. And then you'll add an item, which I already have under here some different um, things, but you'll add an item, whatever that item looks like for you. So we can put in child here, and then when you put in child care the first time, whatever price you've set, oh, not $200 an hour, that'd be crazy, um, well not crazy, but dream come true. Anyways, when you set your price um, in here for the first time, you it'll be an item later, so you'll just be able to like add child care for this many hours, add child care for this many hours, and it'll automatically tally all of your invoicing for you. So, 
Um, your quantity is going to be your amount of hours. So, so for my paper earlier, I did five hours. And we're not going to do a tax. So I'm done. So then I would just add it again. And I would put in the quantity. Um, and I would just keep doing that um, in here. So yeah, you just keep adding it up. And then you come down here, you can accept credit cards or accept whatever you want. Um, but I don't, she just would know to pay me through Cash App after she received this in her email, but then she also now has a copy of the invoice. Um, and so I will say that I usually use the paper, but I'm a journaler by nature. Um, so I write everything down like that. But if at the end of your day, you just pull out your phone and put what you did for work in an invoice draft in ways uh, in wave invoicing then you can just at the end of the week send it and you guys will both have copies of the invoice so you won't actually need a paper um, if you don't want to use it and then again for notes we could do and your admission was 35 bucks because then for that I would add a, I would add a item called reimbursement $35. So that way now at the bottom she knows what that's for because these are notes that they can see but she just sees the word reimbursement because then I can use that reimbursement time and time again if I need to. So it'll show you what it's lo what it looks like. It says from me to number one for most of simply um, because this is set up for my business but it would say from your name and there you go and you can send yourself a copy um, and you can attach an invoice PDF to the email as well um, or as a attachment so that they can have a PDF instead of it just popping up in their email um, but I'm not worried about that so we'll just go ahead and send it and there we go so it now says unpaid so you'll also see in wave invoicing when there's an overdue payment or an overdue invoice um, that'll come up so then you can remind them or whatever but I will say if you're not getting paid through a credit card through wave invoicing itself um, you do have to manually put in when you get paid which for me isn't a big deal because it literally looks like this edit Record payment, a manual payment, method, other, account. So it also shows, in the method, it also gives you the option for PayPal. Um, so you can say that it's PayPal, even though it's Cash App, or you can just put other, which is what I usually do. And then you do, um, I always put cash on hand from the account. Um, but I think, yeah, shareholder loan. So I always put cash on hand for that, for when they pay me. And then... Yeah, and then you submit it. Boom, and you can send them a receipt telling them that you've got their, um, that you've received their payment. Um, I typically don't do that unless they request one, just because it gets kind of annoying, like it clutters their email. But otherwise, dismiss that, and boom, there you go. Now it'll be show up not in unpaid, but in all. Yeah, so now it'll show up there. So that is how I do my invoicing. Literally, those are the things that I use. Yeah, so if you want to go ahead and use Cash App, use my code down below to sign up for Cash App, and that way we both get $5, because that'd be cool. Um, and if you need the invoicing sheets, they are up for sale on Etsy, and Wave Invoicing is free. So I hope this helped you guys, and um, sorry I kind of look a little like a bum today. <laughs> um, I was super cozy. I don't know where you guys are at, but it is the first real day of fall here. Um, in Washington. It is a crisp air. There was fog outside. It's so quiet. So I woke up early, of course, um, not on purpose, but, um, and I've been having tea and just being extra cozy. So I hope you guys are enjoying this cooler weather and staying inside and being safe.
But until then, enjoy your weekend, lounge around. I'm gonna also probably play some video games this weekend with my husband. So have fun and we'll see you next week.